Morning Grasshoppers. We are starting our morning arena. Did I really get Attacker 07? No. I got another player who doesn't seem to be here at the moment. Can he even see the board? That is the question. It is time to get to work. Get to work now. Basically, get to work now. I'm also looking for in the background uh, an opportunity to show uh, some of the uh, games that are requested by uh, viewer awards, either my memorable games, games of Paul Morphy, um, Le Bourdonnais. I have a three-hour stream, and then a, a six-hour stream on Magnus Carlsen, which is very difficult to get in. I'm rethinking that one quite a bit. The 10 gifted subs option is crushing, in a way. Crushing. Where is my opponent? Let me reload this and make sure that I'm not actually... Ah, oh, of course. I'm the one who has not yet moved. All right. Well, I haven't given up on the symmetrical English. I've not yet given up on the symmetrical English. Let me clear my desk just a little bit. Spotting him a couple minutes on the clock was not my original option. Should I attempt the double fianchetto? Yeah, let's do that. Let's see if we can take him out of his comfort zone with a double fianchetto. At the moment, we have e5 under control. He's got a very strange um, situation here. Is he going to play e5? Is he going to let me have everything in the center that I want and more? I have just enough. After a while, when you calculate the attackers and the defenders on a square such as d5, am I at all concerned? I do need to get castled. I don't know if it's really worth it, but I do need to get castled. I do want to be able to chip away at his center if he does choose to play e5. I'm going to keep the tension in the position as much as possible. As it was uh, discussed in an earlier stream, my first coach and mentor, Joe Colligan, told me to keep the tension a lot like a tug of war. Whoever releases the tension in the tug of war, that is a classic game, where a, all right, now we can gain time on it. A classic game where a flag tied to a rope pulled by two teams across a line is a neutral zone, and if either team can uh, pull the opponent's flag across the line, it would indicate and uh, defeat for the most part. So let's go for the... Backward pawn on C2 as a target. The 
Substance's peace coordination is not quite there yet. We are going to need to open up that line. Possibility of playing D3 is there. We have knight f5, knight e3, we have knight d5, I am of course mildly concerned that he has e5 with a gain of tempo, it could be awkward. Do I sack it? Why not? Told me once, but it's possible I forgot. Is he listening to the stream? He is more than welcome. Now, on the other hand, I definitely would like to How many times am I attacking that? Do I really want to give up my dark squared bishop? Well, that's interesting. Takes, 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 Sonora. Rook takes c3. B takes c3. Bishop takes c3. And then what do we have? What do we really have? Morning, Grandpa. Hello. Good morning, Bobby. How are you? All of his squares are so weak in the center. How am I going to accomplish anything in this picture? I need to find a way to coordinate my pieces. All right, well, this looks very logical. He can't defend the pawn. And I am gonna get my rook to d8. There's, of course, a small flaw in my plan, but I have to get my exchange back, and I have to keep the pressure on the C3 pawn. So that I can ensure the win of the pawn. He does have the two bishops. The move before that I was really concerned about was bishop a3. He had bishop a3 on queen c8. It was a little troublesome. I wasn't yet done calculating. Bishop a3, bishop a6, queen c2, bishop takes f1, bishop takes e7. If and when needed. Is he getting the open file? A rook to c7? Well, maybe it's not worth it. But all of our pieces are coming in just Fine. Now he has more weaknesses. And I do have a way of protecting my knight comfortably. Do I have a way of protecting my knight comfortably? I don't know if rook to c8 is real. But we'll see.
Uh, he wants my knight. I want his bishop. Well, that's a blunder. I meant to play rook to d1. Honestly. Whoa! What does this really mean? It means I didn't lose my knight. That's one thing. So I'm down the exchange. I'm going to really have to boogie. I'm really, really, really going to have to boogie. Where do we want to go from here? And how do I get in the center? First things first. First things first, let's disturb the action. Just a wee bit. To make sure his king is less safe than mine. Very, very important. Everything seems to be covered. And that's a bummer. Another blunder. Another blunder. Yeah, it's, it is a blunder. Oh, well, say la vie. You win some, you lose some. Good morning, Rogan Joe Sloan. Yes, it's Skywalker. I'm sorry. The Peacemaker is based on the Mandalorian, right? Unfortunately, given yesterday's incident with, uh, oh, it's the good day. Hey, Lauren, how are you? Great to see you. I'm starting to feel a little bit better. Just a little bit better in the sense that Ah. Uh. How am I going to get him here? This does not look good.
Ark. He played a really good move. I have to admit that he played a really good move. I'm not happy about it, but he played a really good move. Yeah, yeah. I need to give my king some running room. If I'm going to ever escape this, I really do indeed need some running room. And am I in trouble? Of course I'm in trouble. Yeah, it's official. It's official. Did not want him to play G4 check or anything else for that matter. Attacker 06 did not make it. Did not get to look into Attacker 06. Good morning, Delianolos. How are you, sir? Blast from the past. Great to see you. Oh, no. All right, let's 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 increase my statistics with one C4 if Joseph DK is not going to show up. Yeah, that's how I think, all right. Let's increase my statistics. Hero request B3. I have actually improved my layout to a certain extent so that I may be able to watch and see redemptions, reward requests. Using the pop-out window and the stream manager that comes with Twitch, I'm able to drag and drop it right next to my uh, my streaming window so that that way I can keep everything on the same screen. I really only need to see that part. And, of course, the reward requests. 1B3 coming up. He's a little late on the draw there. 1B3 is a very serious part of my normal preparation so here we're going to go into a Catalan of sorts or a, tar or a terrorist defense let's see if he ever gets around to playing what I think he's going to play we don't know I certainly don't know but if he gets around to playing d5 We'll find out. What in the world? There's a weakness on D5. I'm attacking a piece. He's attacking a piece. We have now transposed into one of my favorite positions in the Tarash defense. This is not the Dubov Tarash. The pressure on d5 is rather immense. I have to decide how I'm going to go about this. I want to be able to play rook to b1 to take b7. So we're going to go about that. So let's see, we have now four attackers on d5. And he has three defenders. If I capture, he captures. He did have knight takes c3 there. Bishop takes d8, knight takes e2, check. And this is a lot like the famous game Marshal Capablanca, where this fellow 
is a little bit overworked. Does he really want to trade those pizzas? All right, first things first. I want to be able to threaten to capture on this square. Can I guard my rook this way? Too many pawns are hanging after that. Am I not winning? It's true. It does appear that I'm not winning. But I do have the correct rook pawn. And I still have an extra pawn. Chess, chess. Can I win this end game? Therein lies the tale. Can I win this end game? I'm going to try my best. Three to two on the same side of the board. Looks very, very iffy, right? Where's he going to go? Three to three on the same side of the board. Also problematic. Well, he made it a little bit easier. Now this is a theoretical win. A very, very standard win. Mm -hmm. Well, he made it a little bit easier. Just a little bit easier. The 1400, unfortunately, in his play showed up. Hero request B3 coming. First loss of 11 in coming. <laughs> oh no. For, uh, I believe in the Discord, Ron A had mentioned how he didn't uh, know how to read the chess base uh, computer cheater checker al algorithm. But if you're not a member of the Discord, that's definitely the place to discuss these things. As I mentioned before, it's against the uh, lead chess terms of service to accuse anyone of cheating in chat. The proper way is to fix or report the situation in order to fix it. Nice. I My stream sound still is terrible. I have to... Uh, Lead Chess is very quick about sorting it out. They have less of a, yeah, uh, they also have a uh, C4, C5, HXGR. I'm sorry that I, HX group. 
I did not see your H4 request. How are you? Great to see you. I do need to maybe make the font a little bit smaller to a certain extent. I'm sorry I didn't see his request. I would definitely love to try. I can't play H4 without without some weakness on the king side. By the way, H4 before the opponents played G6, or H6 before the opponents castled, or I'm sorry, H4 before the opponents castled and the dark square weaknesses around the king with uh, H7, H6, H5, H6. Attacking is, is um, strategically less sound. Unfortunately, we we're watching Logic duking it out with Mommy. Mommy, of course, got through me. Me, 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 Mommy. Would have been nice not to spot him, but I didn't have uh, I didn't have my screen refreshed. So that was kind of awkward. Average set upon loss, yeah. Sente pawn, C E N T I. It's some measure of an algorithm to determine the amount of mistakes uh, versus the comparison to the moves a computer would make. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry, Rogan. We're all actually, believe it or not, we're all dyslexic to a certain extent. It's just that some are affected a little bit more than others. Ilyanolos has been the bane of my existence many a stream in the past. He has kicked my butt and more than myself. So now the moment of truth. Do we go for it on the G7 square? <laughs> so, uh, Rogan, it's a good point that you point uh, that you uh, that you. Uh, you mentioned there. <laughs> Indeed, I was thinking it needed to be built built up upon. The Saturday tournament should be uh, perhaps seven or eight rounds, and the and the Sunday event should be eleven rounds. But we don't really. Oh yeah, are you sure? I will check it out. One second, I'll be right back. Let me see. If you're in the event, there you are. I'm only plus two. That's a remark for as often as I felt like we played. That's a remarkably small number of games. Unlike Ron Hay and I, who are like 74, 73. Or Jail and Amarado, which is 90 to 15. 90 to 15. And I would say the vast majority of those, because he plays so solidly, all of those are percentages of my uh, abilities in the end game. U Pen has me by three. Mommy now has me by one. I'm happy that he has 10,000 games under his belt. That's another indicator for the most part. Pro Mentalists has been in my simuls. I actually came up with a great new simul idea. Five plus five, five players, five minutes added. Five plus five, five players only. Training simul. HX group B. 
Welcome. We're going to play the Cadillac of chess openings. I wish, I wish uh, HX, HX group. Unfortunately, I cannot agree to a draw. I'm going to follow an Ivanchuk game. It is one of my favorites in this line. Let's see if you find Ivan, uh, Ivanchuk's next move on either side of the board. So, no. He did not find it. Can I? Can I? Is he really considering it? I do not know. Save your tears for another day. I'm not castled, so I don't mind this at all. He didn't go for it. Just going to keep on piling it on. We're going to keep on, keep on, keep it on. That's an interesting choice. Very interesting choice, queen to b3. Interesting. Well, I was very slow here. I didn't get this in the way I wanted to. It is most certainly a bummer. Only a small threat intended here. Well, that doesn't help, does it? On takes, bishop takes, on takes. Or is it just a free pawn? Hmm. Fascinating. It does help. Cripple, 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 cripple. Cripple, cripple, cripple. So bishop on hmm. This is a terrible decision on my part, by the way. Absolutely terrible decision on my part. Horrendous decision on my part. For those of you who don't already know what a horrendous decision looks like, this is one. Good morning, HX group. Yes, of course it is. I'm very happy to have you. Welcome. Where are you from?
I have not checked out the new Muse song. So what is my opponent up to? He's trying to trap my... Bishop. However... I do have plans. Well, that was nice. It's time for us to step up. Oops, now I might be in troubles. Am I in troubles? Oh, I'm in very, very deep, deep doo doo there. Mm hmm hmm. Can I keep it up? Keep it up. Boop, 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 boop. Keep it up. I mean, if I lose, I lose. I'm not here to uh, just agree to a draw. I'm not here to not play. Happy weekend, indeed. MD night. There was a time when I wanted to just teach chess seven days a week and never have any time off. I do not know what happened to that time. I really don't. I do not know what happened to that time. There used to be a time. All right. Am I giving up the bishop pair? Am I concerned at all about this? I certainly am. We'll just keep the threats going. Keep his bishops restricted. Once there was a way to get back homeward. Once there was a way to get back home. All right, moment of truth still. How am I coordinating my pieces? Not very well. I'm not coordinating my pieces very well at all. Yes, yes. That is a problem. It is a very serious problem. I'm happy you noticed that. I'm just going to have to barnacle. Just call me Barnacle Bob. Not at all happy about my situation. Chess.
once there was a way to get back home. Sleep, pretty darling, do not cry. And I will sing a lullaby. Where are you going? And what does it all mean? Can I evict you the old fashioned way? Or do I have to do it a little bit more of a traditional way? I don't know, but my rook is out of the game over here. Bishop takes on takes. We're just going to do exactly what we have to do. And also we're going to avoid bishops of opposite colors. If at all possible. We still have an extra pawn. Do we? Out, sir. I am planning on winning material out of this deal, if at all possible. Eviction notice should be in an emote. I love it. Yes. <laughs> I wasn't sure how worldwide that that uh, that phrase is understood. But it should be. Once there was a way to get back over. I didn't want him to play bishop c4. I didn't see any absolute tactics on that one. Bishop d5 was probably better. Once there was a way. I sense an A pawn flying in the near future. So bishop takes. Oh, he answers with bishop takes. <laughs> I don't see it. Let's get moving. We've got to move it, move it. I actually considered that he was going to play rook takes c6 in the previous move, honestly. Once there was a way get back homeward. No, there's a tactic there, sir. Eviction notice. Where's my Discord? We we'll put it in the art and emote ideas section. Rogan Joe Sloan, by the way, I have not given him the due shout out that he is uh, accorded here. I'm gonna have to change that to follow him now for Christ's sakes. There we go. 
So those of you who have not yet joined the Discord, this is the time. Would like to get the Discord users up to the social media. That's not that difficult. And following me on my socials will also be possible. In the near future, tweets coming. Oh no, don't get a haircut. I might need all 11 rounds to get my rating over 2200 at this pace. But where is Conte de Luna? He must be doing some family things this weekend. I have a feeling, you know, there's a remarkable resemblance in person between Omora and Conte de Luna. And they are both Hungarian. Amazingly enough. Italian. I'm sorry. Italian. Conte de Luna is Italian and uh, has uh, ties with Hungary. Good morning, Jeff. How are you? <laughs> 11 tournaments. Well, let's stop thinking about terms of rating. I want you to think about it in terms of accomplishments with your game. I want you to visualize not walking up to a wall chart and seeing your rating at 2,000. But I want you to visualize opponents congratulating you on your peace coordination. Oh, yeah, all of that tournaments. Yeah, exactly. No, I apologize. Great, great job. But no, actually, this is a good, it's a good moment for some coaching anyway. In general, there are a lot of people that set rating goals. And if you set a number goal, that doesn't actually help you accomplish it as much. I mean, you can manifest, like on a vision board, having a higher rating or having a car or whatever. But what you also need to visualize is people congratulating you on the process by which you achieved it. Congratulating you on the process of playing good moves, find, being resourceful, uh, being Houdini, a Houdini-like escape. Things like that. And peace coordination is the number one method. Getting your rooks to the better squares faster. Oh no, what happened? Oh yeah, I haven't... Uh, I haven't found that. I forgot that it's back. I remodded somebody. Was it stream elements? I have to go to stream elements. I had taken off all of the cheese.com biases or link biases. Please be careful. The link biases of uh, stream elements have not been addressed yet. There are too many different mods. I've got more mods than I have viewers many times. Uh, but Yetenheimer said uh, he's been playing more on cheese.com. Because a friend of his uh, had increased his rating on cheese.com and he had to get with the program. All right, here are a request. B3 it is against logic. Here are a request. Check. Where's that reward request when I need it? Once there was a way. We're going to go all in. All in. Oh, I found a, a really great thing, but it does not work. YouTube music. I need it on a different track than my microphone, so I have to listen to it with a headset. That in, that is indeed the problem. So basically, the music interferes with the streaming if I'm not listening to it on a headset. I can put on music, but I would have to turn off 
my Bluetooth speaker. And it's possible, but my Bluetooth speaker, I don't know, I wonder. I just wonder. A wee pop up. Walked into prep, yes. I hate when that happens. Logic is well aware of my bishop to b5 intentions. Did I go all out with the, uh, let's just pretend like we're not going to allow him any uh, expansion on that side of the board. I'm mildly concerned about my dark squares. I no longer has my knight c3, knight e2. Are you really threatening it yet? Maybe you are, but I don't think you are. I actually have to look into Spotify just a little bit more. We're all in on the E5 square. So there I blundered. He could have played C takes D4 and I had to recapture with a paw, with a piece. I really did blunder there. I couldn't recapture with the E pawn because I would hang my F4 pawn. That was a momentary timeout. That's for sure. Fortunately, logic was playing natural moves, and natural moves lead to natural disasters. Let's see if that command still exists. I have not used that one in a, in a, in a while. Seek out supernatural moves at all times. Natural moves lead to natural disasters. One of my favorite quotes. Ah, the modernized Reti 3XK is commenting. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know if I like it or don't like it, but what I don't like is when people that I like accidentally step into uh, the dog do or the dog don't, depending on how you look at it. I don't want to alienate anybody. I apologize. Thank you, thank you, Jeff. No, I, I re-enabled uh, some of the mods and I have not yet gone back to, uh, to fixing those things. But we'll see. All right, now the moment of truth. Do we want to blast him or don't we? Am I worried about my d4 pawn? His king is in the center. This is the very big moment of truth time. His king is in the center. Uh, I'm going to give him the e4 square. We will find out more. I thought about making my stream 18 and up. What would the point be? Right? So.
So. Do I sack the exchange or not? That is the question. Well, I'm very heavily leaning toward not. Oh, what was I thinking? Oh, that's what I was thinking. Silly me. Of course, that's what I was thinking. Woo, I survived again. He gets, folks. All right, how many pawns do I get? I don't know. Can I get away with this? I'm going to get very enterprising against logic. Very, very enterprising. Or did he just... Uh... Or did he just time me into this? If I do manage to survive against logic, I don't know what my record is against logic. He has beaten me, I'm certain. But I don't know how many times. 15 and a half, four and a half. That's a terrible record. Yes, that is indeed the case. So I have to decide how I'm going about it. He has no idea who's zooming who. But I do. All right, zip, zip, zip. First things first. Now, he is actually threatening that move, so I'm a little perturbed. But okay. So, CD5, Knight D5, F5. All right, fine. I'm going to keep up the pressure. Keeping up the pressure. Just capturing up a storm as fast and as ferociously as I can.
This is getting a little bit tougher. Just a little bit tougher for my opponent. Can't sacrifice pieces unnecessarily. I don't believe that. We're gonna, we'll talk a little bit more about that. Playing chess while learning new openings is really hard. Well, is that true? Are you learning new openings? Or are you, lose, or, or, or are you learning new ways of coordinating your pieces? So basically you have to have your, when you, when you study, when I study an opening, it doesn't really matter what anyone else does. When I study an opening, I look at the destination. And if you can accomplish getting to that destination, it's just like any other plan, schematic thinking. And if you have an idea in mind for that destination, then there are always going to be hurdles on the way to that destination. There are always going to be tactical tricks. And I played the main lines for many years, and I found that I would... Yeah, basically, you really do have to know where you're going more than you have to look at the path to get there. You can look at the map all you want, and you'll find yourself going down the wrong road if you don't know the general direction that you're supposed to be heading. And it is the journey, not the destination. Indeed, that's the all the other major simplifying moment. Durian defense. Hold on here. Durian defense has been with us since the very beginning. I'm going to hazard a guess. I've, it's been so long. I'm going to hazard a guess that he is one of my favorite Malaysian streamers. Is that correct? Ah. It should be. Darn it. I used to be able to arrow up and be able to correct that. Durian, I've lost my ability to arrow up in my commands to be able to type quickly and correct a previous command. It's very annoying. But make sure you follow Durian Defense. I know that he is a relatively resolute streamer, especially in the study department. Your opponent has prepped down to the 20 moves. I want to see this line. And I'm not even going to look at the opening book. Which game did you play? Was it the most recent one? Let's check this out. I just have to remember to turn off the opening book. Because I don't believe in those things. One of the my favorite things... It's not this one. Must be this one. Okay. Uh, I don't want to open it in a new link tab. One of the truly great things. Let's turn off the opening book. We're on the black side. I'm going to hide the score sheet. So this line is extremely logical. And it's also another really great benefit here. I don't know what he's hoping to accomplish. I really don't. Well, he's definitely accomplishing a weakness on your white squares. By the way, I refer you to the game Magnus Carlsen versus... Uh, he played this against Yusupov. He destroys... Magnus Carlsen destroys Yusupov in about... 20 moves with this line is white. So if a grandmaster like Arthur Yusupov plays this way, I believe that your mistake is on move two. I'm not entirely positive of this, but I'm curious. D3, this is the moment where I really have to think about how I'm going to accomplish developing and coordinating my pieces. You can't play a natural move. Um... I would like to reference the original Carlson Yusupov game. When he was like 13 or 14 years old, D3 just, or was it Dolmatov? I'm sorry, it was Dolmatov. I get uh, that generation's players, Dolmatov, Yusupov, uh, and another one mixed up every now and then. So here, well, we have to capture. 
that is understood. And now we have to control the e5 square somehow, or we're playing an Alakine's defense. Right? This looks a lot like my knight uh, c3 variations. You may be playing the north, the north, uh, the north c gambit. G6, E5, knight to H5. Is E5 an option here? Should we take the pawn? Is that an option? Let's take a look. I'm pretty sure that taking the pawn is perfectly reasonable. Now we have to attack the bishop with knight C5 or D5. Hold on one second. I really want to analyze this further, so I'm going to keep going on this one. Hold on. I'm going to flip the board. I'm not looking at the opening book. I don't want to see the score sheet. <laughs> yeah, but you're doing fine here, I believe. You're absolutely doing fine here. But I wouldn't say that you have to study the games related to this line. You have to study a lot of games. You absolutely, absolutely have to study a lot of games. Uh, we're going to put this in view, viewer studies. Because that's where Lawrence usually go. So we have a weakness on this short diagonal. This has been known since the dawn of time. Well, uh, let's let's rethink this. Yeah, he did have c4. Absolutely, Durian. He absolutely had c4. I didn't mention it at the time because I don't mind if people watch the stream, and I do want them to watch the stream. So therefore, I'm not necessarily going to give everything away while I'm playing. But you're on the ball, Durian. Yes. I'm trying to think, though, how many Malaysian streamers I know. We only really have two very serious, uh, three actually, three very serious uh, visitors from Singapore. The Tiffany, who does my uh, hair, is from Malaysia. Another friend of mine's friend of mine is um, just started her own clothing bit, and they were just celebrating Chinese New Year. But aside from that. I don't have enough Malaysians in my life, Durian, so you have to show up more often. Um, <laughs> you're not arguing, it's a discussion. So here, I can see that I've already overstepped my boundaries. Is the material more important than the activity? So we have to actually play our queen directly back to F, uh, knight back to f6. There's no doubt about this. And now we have a problem. We have no choice in this position but to play g6. So Lauren, you should be playing f4 on the first move if you really want to play the Dutch as black. If you want to play the Dutch as black, you also have to play Bird's opening because we're in a reversed Fromm's counter gambit where we seem to be too tempy down. Let's go back for a moment. I'm going to flip this. I'm going to flip this uh, just a little bit. And now our opponent has gotten knight to g4 in. Which is not normally possible. Knight f6 is a move, by the way. because I play f4. So I don't mind it in the reverse case. 
but looks like we headed right into a reversed. So if I were to play anything in this position to improve, I imagine the next step might need to be D5. And life is not easy. <laughs> Which one do you have? Do you have the Simon Williams or do you have the um the other Dutch course? I'm drawing a blank on the author. The Simon Williams I went through cover to cover because I've never really learned. Yeah, I, I actually won a, a Dutch thematic. Uh, where everyone in the tournament had to play D4, F5, C4. And I chose the Leningrad variation as my primary weapon. I also won another really great Stonewall Dutch many years later in the Eastern Open, but I only dig it out as a, as a surprise weapon. Again, I would take two steps back and play only, I repeat, play only chess. Try not to, st you're studying, you're, you're, all those all those moments trying to uh i would say find the players that are referenced in those openings and study those players study the styles of those players so that you can find the natural exhalations of moves kings kalashnikov very good daniel king is a great guy I got a chance to spend some time hanging out with him in 1995 during the World Trade Center event. Uh, Lubomir Lubovich, who was also a world-class player at the time, Daniel King, his wife, his future wife, she was not yet, I don't even know if she was yet his fiance at that moment. So we celebrated his birthday, I believe, during the World Championship in September of 95 at the French Roast on 11th and 6th Avenue, which is no longer there, unfortunately, but it was a beautiful restaurant. Very French European vibe. Ubovic was there quite often. It was like his number one favorite place in New York. He is a very big kid, Lubomir. I cannot wait to go to Belgrade to see him again. So here, what was your choice? You did choose G6. And we got mated. Yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. That's unfortunate. <clears throat> Man, who was this? Whoa. Oh, okay. I was... <laughs> My anti Dutch theory is one E four. Uh, no, you don't get two. You... Oh, I guess you're right. Absolutely. You get two pieces for the ruck, but I think it's worse than that. It's just the exposure to the king that is just devastating. Absolutely the exposure to the king that's devastating. It's very difficult to get our pieces up. craziness it's hard to waste a line of computer analysis on this since it was just an opening book uh excursion let's see if the game with uh yosipov and uh carlson and dolmatov is in here there oh carlson also played it against rodriguez we can insert that one that was knight f6, e4, f4, e4, knight takes e4, bishop d3. Hold on, where was it? No, it wasn't. 
D6. Yes, D6. That might have been used upon. The problem for me is that I only play, I usually only play d4, but it's in the knight f3. Johann Sebastian Christensen, let's see what happens with Ceparino. It's very hard not to be able to take it. To me, you have to take it if you want to achieve any form of advantage, but it looks like the statistics are against us, massively, massively against us. Unfortunate. And you're in good company because Duda is on the black side of this as well against Sakaro Nakamura. Let's insert that one. Uh, Duda chose D5. No? Well, oh, that was me. Duda chose Knight F6. Knight g5, and now Duda chose d6. Got it. Knowing the dangers to the king. This is really a lovely variation. I believe this is what every uh, Dutch defense player is dreaming of. We knew it from the start. I saw your badly placed pieces and that was the last I'd seen of my heart. Oh, this is, this is a struggle. Champion Showdown Blitz. But if you want to, uh, here, here's my last recommendation anyway, for anybody. This is not for Lauren. This is for everyone. This is one of the reasons why the London is so popular, but for the wrong reason. You would like to play a line that allows you to play classically good chess in an environment where you can play classically good strategy and master those strategies, absolutely master those strategies, without having to spend countless numbers of hours on finding the right tedious opening moves, which takes you away from the process of becoming a good player. Clip that. We need that one. So, Honestly, I gave up the knight or if I gave up the king's Indian, I literally gave up to play openings that I did not know. Yet, where I was able to find good moves in the Nimzo Indian defense and the Queen's Indian defense, and uh, I answered e4 with e5, and I played very solidly with white also. I played the Tory attack with d4, and if my opponent answered with d5, I would play the Queen's Gambit. And I went over 2200 without knowing any openings. But the whole time I got to 2200, I'm tediously studying the latest variation in the Nidorf, and I can't study chess. I'm tediously worrying about the advent of the English attack, which was becoming popular at that time. And I even wasted money on lessons. Right? I even waste, I see that so many players waste time studying and playing cool openings that have great names like the Dragon Sicilian. And yeah, you're going to reach 2,000, perhaps, playing your favorite opening, but unfortunately, you're going to be 60 years old playing the Dragon Sicilian, and you're still going to be 2,100. Because you're going to have to spend all of your time in that tedious opening. Now, Lauren, 
I have a gazillion different opening uh, encyclopedias, and I did go through the Dutch cover to cover by Simon Williams. Amazing course. I did not go through the Dutch cover to cover because I wanted to play the Dutch every single game for the rest of my life or against every opponent. I like to choose my opponents and my openings, and I like to, I'm sorry, I like to match up my opponents and my openings carefully. Yeah, you can, I still play the Dragon Sicilian. I've studied it. I've gone through it cover to cover on one of the Chessable books. I've also done the Classical Sicilian. I've done the, uh, I haven't finished this Sashnikov uh, one yet. I thought about King Sicilian. But basically, I turn the reps down to one. I only do one rep. One rep only. I go through the whole book. I learn everything. I read the notes. <laughs> I'm so afraid. This is the last recommendation, anyway, for anybody. This is not for Lauren. This is for everyone. This is one of the reasons why the London is so popular. But for the wrong reason. You would like to play a line that allows you to play classically good chess, chess in an environment, in an environment where you can, where you play, can play classically, classically good, good strategy, strategy and master, and master those strategies. strategies. Absolutely, Absolutely master, master those strategies. Those strategies. Without having Without to spend having countless, to spend countless, countless hours, hours and hours on finding the right and tedious, and tedious open moves, 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 which takes which you takes away you from away the process, from the process of, becoming of becoming a good player. player. Put that. Put that. We need that. We need one. that one. <laughs> so, so. Well, we need to clip that one. It's clipping that one. Love it, sir. Love it. But it's absolutely true. That's exactly what you do. I basically stopped studying openings and I started studying chess. And I went over 2200 very easily. Ironically, very easily. I was not prepping for opponents. I was not worrying about whether or not I was going to play a move before another move. I literally sat at the board and I did the work the hard way. And that's really what needs to be done if you want to become a better player. You cannot... Um, Reload. Get back in this tournament. That was a good intermission. Very important lesson learned from that. The logic is streaming. Where is my shout out for logic? L. He is, of course, one of the legends of our stream, and I haven't yet added Pegasus. Logic should have his own, <clears throat> his own stream. I wonder if I'm allowed back into Canada. Alexa, am I allowed to travel to Canada from New York City? My time between Canada and New York City is approximately one hour. Let's ask Google. Google is much wiser. Okay, Google. Am I allowed to travel to Toronto from New York City in these COVID restricted times? The real question is, are you required? I, I am allowed to travel, but the real question is, do I have to quarantine? Grr. No, thanks. Let's try to get, this, get me to answer a survey. In the summer of 2021, yada, yada, yada. I believe I absolutely do have to get a COVID test to fly back to the United States.
Are the New Zealand borders open? It's actually got everybody here. No! Not again! The Jaws theme. What is going on with my sound alerts? Is that true? So apparently, when it's not visible, I know, I'm gonna fix it for you. I know the timing is off. This is tragic, I'm really upset about this. Where is my My sound alerts are gone. Is that true? Widgets, perhaps? I am so upset that this has happened again. Audio source, all. Hold on here, I'm going to test one widget here. Welcome, I think. Shaken, shaken, not stirred. Not stirred. Well, that's interesting. There's something wrong with that picture. Ah, let's move that down. Got it, got it, got it. This is gonna drive me nuts. Shut down source when not visible, yada, yada, yada. B3 by Ron Hay, fine. I'm gonna make sure that the sound alerts are at the top of the screen regardless here. All right, moment of truth. Copy. I'm not going to go for it, by the way. I'm not going to play anything at all relatively unusual until I fix my sound alerts. Where are you? Who is this guy? Checking the sound alert source. Chess. All well and good, folks. All well and good. Just getting ready for a potential D4, depending on what it does. So what is wrong with the source? I just Googled it, and it's not doing what it's supposed to be doing. Am I at all worried? Oh, fine. Let's just play it like a reverse Sicilian here. A reversed E6 Sicilian. Reverse. 
refresh the cache of the browser source. All right, let's check the other thing real quick. Oh, it's just a trade. You scared me there for a moment, Pegasus. You really did. You scared me there, sir. I thought you had actually got, you'd taken a free pawn. Quit sound alerts. I'm opening a whole bunch of these. Fair enough. All right, we're back. Oh, that's very clever. Is that very clever? It seems very clever. But okay, all yours, sir. All yours. Let's see if I can bring up this YouTube uh, classic that I want to add to my library. Add to library. And this way, I believe I can play it using an external speaker and not my desktop. There we go. We are going to get there, folks. So, entertainment. YouTube music. There was no sound there. Can I do this? Ah, oh, wise guy. How do I punish you? So d4, knight d5, queen d6. I have to do it. I'm sorry, but I do have to do it. It's very logical. Sound, lisp, all right, my sound is back there. I like the concept of this. It's uh, non copyrighted music sounds that even your mother, your grandmother knows. So that's what we're going with, folks. That's what we're reduced to. Oh, 
What's up guys, it's the boy in London right now. I'm about to bring on the lyrics to madness. Anthony in body answering only for is he getting castled? Or is he not? I can't make up my mind, but I don't want him to get castled necessarily. The same thing in a total badass, being a complete dominator of the reality. Bet you never know. Then we have the power by this thing for us to road. What in the world is going on here? This is not what I expected. Oh, behind the circle? You're kidding, right? That's actually behind the scenes. Hmm. Should I or should I not? Yeah, well, I'm going to regret this. Pressure, go away, go away. Hey guys, it's Josh here from Diamond Dive. Now, for some strange reason, I can capture, capture, and capture. All right, let's just do it. Oh no, I should have played it the other way. Darn it. I had a serious advantage and I did not take my serious advantage at all. Darn it. Now, obviously, I'm about to get crushed like a buck like a buck I am going to get crushed like a buck is that true do I want to do that fine still getting crushed like a buck And the winner is missing rook to e6. He had rook e6 threatening bishop h6. We're battening down the hatches as best we can. I don't have a choice in the matter. Yeah, yeah. Check, 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 Sonora. I'm getting mated. 
Possible. Possible I'm getting mated. If I am getting mated, I have very little choice in the matter. So silly of me to play that way. How sad. How sad is it that I would play the way I played? All right, moment of truth. King in the corner. E5. Can I survive this? Probably not. King there, d5 anyway. Yeah, I think I'd rather be over here. This way I may get the fighting chance. What is wrong with this music? This is terrible. Absolutely terrible money penny. Where are you headed? You must go. Get out. Where are you headed? Can I go that way? No, you can have fun. Silly me. Can't have you getting any closer now. On promotion exercise. Pawn promotion exercise. What do you got? Another great escape. Another Houdini-like escape. Do not play any sound effects until I know that I've got it fixed. <laughs> Pegasus, I'm trying to fix your sound effects. Oh, you cats. Uh, you had king f5, king e6. If you played king f5, king e6, then you cover with bishop e7 and I'm mated. I don't know that I can survive that. Rook h3 was a lame duck move. Rook h3, king f5, and you just ignore me. Because you cover with bishop e5, I think. And maybe I take and promote? I don't know. It's pretty, pretty sketchy. I was looking at king f5, rook takes h2, king e6, rook e2, check, bishop e5, and you're threatening mate, so I have to take, and now it's three pawns against the rook, and I think you stymie my pawn, so I don't have a choice. Control w, control tab, log into Streamlabs. Fair enough. A 
allow Streamlabs.com to give me notifications. Check your recent events. Look for the audio icon. If it's red for a line through it, audio. All right, Lauren. Good luck. Have fun. G L H F. Why am I playing and fixing my audio sound alerts at the same time? That is a good question. So Lauren plays D4 with white. Sign into medium with Google now. Yeah, so I haven't been getting my new follower and host events while on Twitch TV. Is that true too? Have we had a new follower? I, 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 I. Where are you headed, Bentito? I need to. I need you to commit your uh, pieces before I can actually do anything here. If you don't commit your pieces, I have a very difficult time. Challenging the center. I need you to commit. Okay, one more time. Implementing the sound alerts browser source correctly in your program. Install the Sound Alerts Twitch extension. Sound Alerts dashboard. Oh no! Why am I locked out? I'm locked out of my Sound Alerts. Dude. They now have their own Discord. Yeah, I've got your Discord right here. Ah. Mm hmm User played X for X. Library dashboard. Should we take over the center now or later? I don't want any funny business. Oh, I should have played Fish F6. Refresh browser source. Interesting. What is going on? What is my opponent up to? I want to work with Lauren. I know exactly what's up now. I'm sorry, Lauren. Is 
that was a bummer settings overlay alert test alert nothing absolutely nothing doesn't work for me either i use something else regenerate url Log in with Twitch. Uh, settings. Set up. I don't want to have to do this every single time. This is really annoying. And now, going back to sound alerts, URL, control A, control V, done. Dude, who's playing Mammy? Is it JL and Alvarado? But do I not have any sounds at all? <laughs> That's how I feel. Alright. So the sound does work. I just have to find out why I'm not getting my stuff done. Dina Belenkaya messaged me back. <laughs> all right good for her that just happened to come up so why do i not have any sounds i'm coming back no, i meant to go to this screen one second I'm just going to test my sound alerts because the last time I fixed this, I fixed it here. And it's still not working. Settings, setup, install extension. Is it not working? Open dashboard. Logging in with Twitch. I seem to be logged in. Settings. Uh oh, let me make sure that I'm not actually playing a game here. Reload. Ooh. Let's let's follow this game. Lauren. I didn't call you Laura, did I? I apologize if I uh, mispronounced your name, but I definitely wouldn't call you Lauren. Laura. <laughs> Laura is very different.
Well, you have to know where you're going with your pieces. <laughs> Master level. Oh, you're a kiss me five fifty five. No, I wish uh, I wish we could get Laura Rogul in the tournament, but there we go. Yeah, I, I can almost see how that might uh, happen. Let viewers enabled. <gasps> how in the world did? No, that's not it. Manage your ch channel points. Got it. Okay, one second. Set up. Test alert played and bumbled. Regenerate URL. Got it. Log in with Twitch yet again. Settings. Setup. View tournament. All right, Jail and Amarado. What have I not done against Jail and Amarado? I have not yet played G6 against him in now. That much is true. <laughs> All right, regenerate URL. Clear the browser cache. Is that what I have to do? More tools. Clear browsing data. Cached images and files. That's all I want to do. And now, lock in with Twitch. Settings. It really takes me out completely. All right, we're going with the sniper since Ron Henley was in the uh, stream just yesterday. I happen to like a lot of the ideas and concepts of the sniper. Sound alerts are off. Grr. Why is this so hard? All right, I have an idea. Or how long was I not on the right page? I'm going to remove my sound alerts. Browse resource. There you go. Sayonara. Then I'm going to reinstall my sound alerts. It seems to have a record of my sound alerts, which is all good. Error occurred, server token error, please refresh. All right, let's try this again. Settings. Set up, do something else. Got it. Done. Okay, well, 
We definitely got the Q. That much is true. So we definitely got the cue, but the sound isn't on. Dude. So audio. Let's turn this off for a moment. That's not helping. All right, let's have fun. Good luck, have fun. Am I going to be up a pawn after this? No, huh? Too bad. Where are you headed? 94, 94. Let's start battening down some hatches. I have a lot of weaknesses. Could be jail and Amarado's day. We will see soon enough. Let's see, four, six, six, horrible pawn structure. Just need to go the distance. Sound alerts is done for the moment. Can I play it this way? Probably not. What is a pawn between friends? And now, for something completely different. Am I just losing a pawn? Yeah, I am. This could be his lucky day. Very annoying. Very, very annoying. It's all yours. The pawn is all yours. There's nothing I can do to save that pawn. 
Fauna's history. So there's something about a sound source in the... Unless you heard it and I didn't. Is that possible? Properties. Monitor. Global settings. Speakers. On track source, advanced audio settings. Yeah, that's how I ended up there. Huh. How about removing sound alerts? There we go. I'm removing sound alerts again. Oh, let me make sure I don't lose. Let me make sure that I just don't lose. 95. I really don't mind triple pawns. I don't. So we have... Uh... Knight takes, even though I did plan on 95. Can I play it that way? This has to be the best pawn structure ever, right? Is this the best pawn structure ever? Come on. Tell me it ain't so. Mickey Dad, Mickey, how are you? Great to see you. We are struggling here, everybody. We are struggling. And now we're going to get our act together as fast as humanly possible. Oh no. All right, back to sound alerts. I do not understand how I ever beat or win a game against um, Bender Dome and I, coming up, 3XK, possibly. A couple people have slowed down, Mommy. Oh no, they didn't slow him down. <laughs> all right, let's see if I, ever, if I have, do I have sound at all? No, huh? No sound at all. All right. Last ditch effort, everyone. Last ditch effort. <laughs> Good game, Lauren. By the way, you did not do so badly, I hope. I'm going to check on your stats just a little bit. Put you on my list of keeping track. That's okay. It was a push. 21 rapid games and a push. 19 is not a real loss. You can gain 19 back in, in a game and a half, in a game or so. You're only like one game down after 19 games. It's just 21 games. It's like ridiculous. I can't see your uh, stats. Played four Blitz games. You must be even. So I am going to come back briefly and soon with um, sound effects fixed. I'm hoping that I can leave you in good hands for just a moment. But where? What good hands? 
Um, I never get any recognition from Arthur Nixon's or um, I do get recognition from Ellen Nilsson, but she's really busy with the Chess 24 broadcast, I believe. I'm not entirely sure that she's, uh, she's doing it there. Yeah, you have to play through these moments. Um, the tournament actually started at 7.55, Mickey. You should definitely get the calendar link. Or join the dojo. You'll get notifications on Discord, as well as on my socials, especially the Twitter. Uh, the Instagram could be almost anything at any time, but I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do with that. I'm going to post it up sooner or later. But certainly, uh, don't miss out on the next one. I am planning on going to, I'm going to do a 5 plus 5 simul shortly. I want to try this new concept of five plus five simuls. And I'm going to get there. I do have to play it. Absolutely. Assuming I see it. Absolutely. That's what uh, Rogan, I think, did for B3. <laughs> But um, Levent of Adia is uh, covering the FIDE Swiss Grand Prix. I'm going to come back shortly with a uh, with a five plus five simul raid. I'm going to test our sound alerts. Have a great day, everybody. Ciao. Thank you, uh, Pegasus. I'm going to try to get you uh, an extra uh, Jaws theme in the future. I really am bothered by the fact that I can't refund that easily right now. I want to find out a way. Cheers, everyone. Have a good one.